Hi guys, what is up? This is Tyrant from Frame Advantage and I'm here today to give you guys a basic beginner's guide for Samurai Showdown, the newest fighting game from SNK and also a rebirth of the classic arcade series. So without further ado, let's get started. Unlike almost every fighting game of recent, Samurai Showdown on the surface takes a very back-to-basics approach. The game is set in 18th century Japan and you can choose from a variety of fitting characters, each with their own individual strengths and weaknesses. Players will look to use single, powerful strikes to deal massive damage to their opponent, rather than focus on lengthy combo strings and mix-ups. That isn't to say there is no combos in the game at all, but they're very, very limited. Let's take a look at the UI and see what we need to keep track of in Samurai Showdown. Firstly, every match has a timer starting at 60 seconds. Once that hits zero, the player with the most life wins the round. As expected, the life bars are displayed at the top of the screen and the rounds won are displayed as fans just below. First to win two rounds wins the game. At the bottom of the screen is each character's rage gauge, which I'll go into a bit later on. So now we know what we're looking at, how do we play the game? Please note that I'll be using the default control schemes for each respective controller. You move your character with the analog stick or D-pad. You can also backwards and forwards dash by tapping that direction twice. Hold the second tap of forward to run towards your opponent. Jump by pressing up in a direction. You have landing recovery if you hold up when landing, but you can cancel this with any input or by tapping jump again. After being knocked down, you can hold left or right to safely tech roll in that direction, or nothing to just wake up in place. Hold back to block, or down back to block low attacks. Tap block just before a hit lands to perform a just defense, which increases your rage gauge, ignores chip damage, and makes stance break possible, but I'll go into that a bit later on. Samurai Showdown uses four buttons to play. Light Slash, which is Square or X. Medium Slash, Triangle or Y. Heavy Slash, Circle or B. And Kick, which is X or A. You have Far and Close Normals, Running Normals, and the Kick has multiple variations depending on the direction used when pressing. Dodge is performed by pressing Light and Medium together, which is R1 or RB. This allows you to evade attacks and throws. Stance Break is performed by pressing Dodge right as you use Just Defense. This will create distance between you and your opponent and prevent them from pressuring you non-stop. Counter is performed by pressing Quarter Circle Forward and Dodge just in time with your opponent's weapon attack. This is only available when wielding a weapon and won't work against jumping attacks. Blade Catch is performed by pressing Quarter Circle Forward and Dodge in time with your opponent's weapon attack whilst you are unarmed. This will disarm your opponent and won't work against jump attacks, just like the counter. If you do happen to get disarmed, your light, medium and heavy slashes will all become the same unarmed attack. Use light next to your weapon to pick it back up. Sword Clash is performed when both players use a weapon attack at the same time and the following criteria is met. There are at least 16 seconds left on the clock, both opponents have at least 160 life remaining, and only one sword clash per round. When this happens, just mash the buttons as much as you can, and if you win the sword clash, you will disarm your opponent. Guard break, or throw, is performed by pressing heavy and kick, which is R2 or RT as default, next to your opponent. You can also perform a back throw. Unlike most fighting games, throws in Samurai Showdown deal no damage themselves, but you can combo afterwards. Back throws give you more frame advantage than forward throws and allow for different follow-ups. Surprise attack or overhead is performed by pressing medium and heavy together, which is L1 or LB as default. This hits crouching opponents and those that like to block low a lot. To utilize your rage gauge, you can wait until it's full by taking hits and just defending enough times, which will give you powered up attacks and specials, plus access to more mechanics. This is called Max Rage. You can use a weapon flipping attack by inputting quarter circle forward plus surprise attack. This attack will not only deal huge damage, but also disarm your opponent. 
You can also at any point use Rage Explosion by pressing Light, Medium and Heavy together which is L2 or LT as default. This can cancel hit stun as long as you're grounded. It will last longer depending on how full your Rage Gauge is at the time but you can only use this once per match, not per round, per match so be careful when you activate. When Rage Explosion is active it's just like being in max rage immediately giving you access to increased attack power, weapon flip and also the Lightning Blade. Lightning Blade is an extremely powerful attack with extremely good range and fast startup. It can be performed by pressing light, medium and heavy whilst already in Rage Explosion. Once you've used this, the Rage Gauge will disappear for the rest of the match, so careful usage of this is vital if you're in need of a huge damage boost to turn the tides. Finally, you have your super special move. This is available at any point of the match and is performed by pressing forward, then half circle forward plus throw. This deals insane damage, but once used, it's gone for that whole match. So just like the Lightning Blade, careful usage is advised. Okay guys, hopefully this gives you an idea of how to utilize the game mechanics to your advantage. Um, stay tuned for the next guide where I'll be showing you guys a few more advanced techniques that you can use to turn the tides of battle. So until then, be sure to embrace death and enjoy Samurai Showdown. Oh, shit! Oh, shit!